Uh, wise when we are in cloud world today, I want to talk to y'all about Mangro Fresh 21 Savage and no plug. Plus, Schoolie, nigga. Listen, Schoolie was cool with Bankro, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you ever heard the story of Bankro Fresh getting kicked out of No Plug's hood. It was because Schoolie was cool with Bankro, and Bankro was passing out toys to the kids, so he was really out there, really, really in the trenches for real. Passing out them toys to the kids. Niggas was hating, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be hating. Hate be so real when you doing good. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, 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 niggas love to hate. I'm trying to tell you. And that's the sad part. He Basically, he was passing out toys. And, uh, Schoolie is sneaky, motherfucker. I don't know who Schoolie is. Don't even worry about it. That nigga is trash. He can't rap. You know what I'm saying? He signed the, uh, 2 chains. And uh, I really feel like that was some Illuminati shit, yo. I'm I'm gonna keep it real with you, cause why would why would Bankroll be um at the studio? He making so much money. Why he ain't have a studio at his house? You know what I'm saying? Why he ain't hire an engineer and have have a motherfucker at his house? You know what I'm saying? Like it happened at twenty. It happened at uh t two change um recording studio um. And they said no no plug shot him. But I really felt it was a lot of shell casing out there if you look at the reports. I don't I don't feel like no plug shot him. I feel like no plug was with somebody that and they came up to the studio deep and they shot him. But um but um like let's get back to Schoolie. Schoolie was playing both sides of the field. Schoolie is cousins with no plug. They cousins, you know what I'm saying? That's they that's that's they cousin, so Schoolie was playing both sides, sizing up Bankroll Fresh head, sizing his name up, his head up, you know what I'm saying, staying close by to him on some real street shit though, you know what I'm saying? Really it's really deeper than rap at the end of the day, what happened between no plug and uh Bankroll. And uh no plug on do the do the DJ Vlad interview and be on that drink laughing like if that's your brother and you know each other's parents or mom, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to laugh about you shooting your brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's disrespectful. He laughing. He 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 talking about, yeah, I just spent 10 bands. I got to drink sponge and all that. Man, they, yeah, we, I beat the case. So, basically, he's snitching for real. That's, yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. He doing a whole lot of, whole lot of police talking because they, they, if you listen to what... Uh, Banshee say he said that he got the police all over them. He got the police over street money worldwide right now, so they can't even strike them niggas or get them niggas clapped. Cause it's a lot of it's deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? They can't bust a bust a maneuver and then don't even complete the mission. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas protected right now, and uh, little money got shot too for protecting uh, bankroll PJ. So they take they took two L's right there. Bankroll, and then uh, little money, little money. You know what I'm saying? They took them street street money worldwide. Took an L, took two L's from that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna let that go. Cause if you, if y'all ever listen to the song um, Red, that that Reddy drink by tr tr not by Trouble and uh, Young Thug, they had uh. Big blank, big bang, black on that joint. He said, "Whoever shot that bank shouldn't did that." I'm in some shots where your kids at. They ain't letting that go, man. A lot of niggas really bang with bank for real. At the end of the day, it's sad to see another talented black man die. And and and, and let me tell you why I feel like they shot him because he was popping, nigga. He was popping. Real talk, he was popping, nigga. He had Atlanta on lock, nigga. He was in every scene in Atlanta. He had that shit on lock. You know what I'm saying? So once they took him out, 21 came up. You know what I'm saying? 21 was already, like, coming up. But now he, like, really shining. You know what I'm saying? And 21, a grimy nigga, too, talking about just tell, just telling you the nigga that killed killed a bankroll on the, on, on, the, on stage and bankroll. And, uh, and, uh, no, no plug was like, nah, I ain't gonna say that. Like, them niggas is grimy, man. And at the end of the day, they gonna get theirs, man. Karma is a bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? Something, something gotta happen, dog. Something gotta happen, dog. Bank Rose, my motherfucking man, dog.
man, that was my nigga, cuz. That shit hurt me. I ain't even know that, man, dog. You know what I'm saying? Just like when Dobie died, that shit hurt me, man. Them niggas was, they, they was young and talented, and they was about to take over. Them niggas was like my age, man, like 23, cuz. Them niggas, shh, shit crazy. But like, subscribe, comment. Let me know y'all thoughts. Let me know what y'all think. Because at the end of the day, that seemed like a setup. And it was a setup. From the outside looking in, setup, bro. You can put two and two together. Real street niggas gonna know what's up. But uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Like, subscribe, comment, man. Real talk. It's your boy Clyro Wise, and I'm out.